Hello everyone, welcome back to Nursing Guru. Today I am going to discuss regarding the applied nutrition and biochemistry topic. Here we are going to discuss the exam pattern, how the exam pattern will be, how the question paper is arranged and the reason behind this video is to introduce how to attend the questions and how to appear for the exam. So as we know that for the exam, we are having two sections in the nutrition and biochemistry, the section A and the section B. In that section A, we need to attend for the nutrition topic and for the section B, we need to prepare for the biochemistry. So in the section total, we are, we are having 75 marks and in the nutrition topic, we are having for 50 marks and coming to the biochemistry part, it will be for the 25 marks. So, we can go for the nutrition exam pattern. So in the exam, for the exam, we need to attend one long essay, short essays, and third one is the short answers and the fourth one is the multiple choice question. First, we can discuss regarding the long essay. Long essay is for 10 mark and here you need to attend one question in that. And second one is the short essays. The short essays are for 5 marks and here you need to attend for 4 questions and the total mark rewarded for the short essay will be 20 marks. And coming to the short answers, it will be for 2 marks and here you need to attend 6 questions and the total mark will be for 12 marks. And coming to the multiple choice question, it will be for one mark and here you need to attend for eight questions and the total mark will be eight. First, we can see the units which is comes under the nutrition part. So here we are having 13 units in the nutrition section and first one is the introduction of the nutrition and second one is the carbohydrates and third one is the protein and fourth one is the fat then vitamins and then minerals. Fifth chapter is the vitamin, sixth is the minerals and seventh is the balanced diet and next one is the nutritional deficiencies next one is the therapeutic diet 10th chapter is the cooking rules and the preservation of the food 11th is the nutritional assessment 12th chapter is the national nutritional programs and the role of nurse and the last chapter that is the 13th one is the food safety so these are our 13 chapters in the nutri applied nutrition portion so we can see according to the mark weightage so as we know that our first one first question is the long essay that is for 10 mark so here the main weightage will be for the seventh chapter that is the balanced diet so we can see an overview regarding this chapter this first chapter is the balanced diet that is according to the syllabus that is the seventh chapter so in long essays we know that it is for 10 mark and here the main weightage is for the seventh unit that is the balanced diet so let's discuss the important chapters or, or the important topics comes under this balanced diet first question will be that is the define the balanced diet or what is balanced diet then the therapeutic diet then the weaning diet and its principles of the weaning diet and the dietary requirement for the pregnancy stage or the pregnant woman's or the infancy and the lactating period and for the old age will also be discussed here and the therapeutic diet especially for the patient with the cardiovascular disease is also having the weightage here so now we can discuss the short essays as we already told that the short essays are for five mark here the mark weightage is distributed to three chapters among that first chapter is the eight unit that is the nutritional deficiencies in that the main focus will be given to the four main topics that is the PEM that is the protein energy malnutrition and the second topic is the childhood obesity and third one is the de vitamin deficiencies and last one is the mineral deficiencies while coming to the PEM or the protein energy malnutrition we need to study or focus regarding the magnitudes of the problems causes classification and signs and symptoms and severe acute malnutrition and the management and prevention and the main nursing role played over here and coming to the childhood obesity here also we need to focus the classification causes 
signs and symptoms, management and prevention and nursing role. And coming to the vitamin deficiencies, here the main focus should be given to the vitamin A, B, C and D. Here we need to give a detailed explanation regarding these deficiencies and the mineral deficiency disorder that is the last topic. So coming to the mineral deficiency disorders, here we need to give the main focus to the iron deficiency disorder, iodine deficiency disorder and the calcium deficiency disorders. So we can see the second chapter comes under the short essays so that is the 10th unit that is the cooking rules and the preservations of the nutrients so here we can see the important questions first one is the methods of cooking the and its effects and we can give the examples also and the principles of the cooking and how household cooking methods and the effect on the cooking and golden rules to prevent the vitamin loss then personal hygiene for the food handlers food additives and its classification and food hygiene, food alterations and the types and measures to control the food alterations will be giving some importance here. So we can see the last chapter in the short essays topic. So that is the 11th chapter, uh, chapter that is the nutrition assessment and the nutritional education. In, in this chapter, we are giving some important topics. That is the first one is the nutritional assessment. Here the question may be asked like define nutritional assessment or the what is the uh, nutritional assessment and what are the objectives of the nutritional assessment. Next question is the methods of assessment. So in this methods of assessment, the question may be asked for the clinical examination and the anthropometric uh, metric method and the laboratory and the biochemical assessment and assessment of the dietary intake and next question will be for the nutritional education in this nutritional education the question may be asked like define nutritional uh, education and the purpose and the principles and the methods of the nutritional education so next important topic is the nutritional education in this nutritional education the question may be asked like define nutritional education and the purpose of the nutritional education or the principles of nutrition education and the methods of nutrition education so these are our short essay questions so the chapter which is will be given distributed like for three uh, chapters that as we discuss above section so next one is the short answers as we already discussed that the short answers are for two mark so here the four chapters are divided for the two mark questions or the chapter weightage or the mark weightage will be given for the four chapters in that first one is the carbohydrate that is our second unit according to our syllabus so here the question the important questions may be asked like define carbohydrates its classification of the carbohydrates and the sources of carbohydrates and the functions of the carbohydrates so next will be the digestion and the absorption of the carbohydrate and the excessive intake of the carbohydrates in our body and the carbohydrate deficiency syndromes and the caloric values of the carbohydrates and the difference between the cashew and the marasmus and the daily requirement or the dietary requirement of the carbohydrates in diet and the metabolism of carbohydrates can be discussed here and the next chapter will be the protein that is according to our syllabus that is the third chapter and here the question may be asked like define protein or what is protein and the classification of the protein and functions of the protein sources of the protein and the caloric value of the protein in daily diet and PEM that is the protein energy malnutrition and the excessive intake and the deficiency symptoms of the protein and the amino acids in the amino acids we can see the essential amino acids and the non-essential uh, amino acids and the complete protein and the incomplete protein will be having the main importance in this chapter next chapter is the vitamin according to the syllabus the vitamin is comes under the fifth chapter here the question may be asked like define vitamins the sources of vitamin the functions of the vitamins and the classification of the vitamins and the daily requirements of the vitamin in a normal diet especially the vitamin a and the vitamin d then fat soluble vitamins with examples may ask and vitamin k like define vitamin k and we define vitamin e and the dietary sources and the deficiencies deficiencies and the manifestations and the daily requirements of the vitamin C and the thiamine and one more question is having some importance over here that is the B complex vitamins here in the B, B complex vitamins the question may be asked like define B complex vitamins and the deficiency syndromes and the sources of the B complex vitamins and the next chapter is the therapeutic diet 
according to the syllabus the therapeutic diet will be comes under the ninth chapter so here the question may be asked like define therapeutic diet objectives of the therapeutic diet the uh, principles of the therapeutic diet modification of the therapeutic diet and the feeding techniques and diet in disease in the diet in disease here we have to discuss some of the disease conditions like the obesity dm or the diabetic mellitus renal disorders hepatic disorders constipation diarrhea and pre and post operative period so let's discuss the multiple choice question as we already said that the multiple choice question will be for one mark here the main weightage will be given for the five chapters in that first one is the fat according to the syllabus the fat will be in the fourth chapter so let's see the important questions in the chapter so here the question may be asked like define fat and the classification sources of the fat and functions of the fat and the saturated and unsaturated fats and the caloric values of the fat and the functions of the fat and the dietary requirements of the fat and the fatty acids and the fat requirements this is the main important topics so next chapter is the minerals according to our syllabus the minerals will be in the sixth chapter and the important questions over this chapter is define minerals and the role of minerals in the body and the absorption and the storage transportation and excretion of the minerals factors affecting the calcium absorption and the digestion absorption and transport storage and excretion of the iron and the functions and deficiency of the copper iron or the phosphorus and the zinc so next chapter is the balanced diet according to our syllabus it is our seventh chapter so here the question may be asked like what is balanced diet or define balanced diet then define therapeutic diet weaning diet the principles of weaning diet the menu planning how modification of diet advantages of the breast feeding concept of the balanced diet food pyramid five food group system as well as the 11 food group system and the composition of the milk as well as the cholesterol soft diet then blend diet intravenous diet then two feeding liquid diet and what are uh, what are the clear fluids breast milk and exclusive breast feeding semi solid diet beverages liquid diet and the protein diet will be having some importance in this chapter and next chapter is the therapeutic diet and this is our last chapter in this multiple choice question so according to our syllabus the therapeutic diet is our ninth chapter here the question the important question may ask like define therapeutic diet and the modification and the sources of the therapeutic diet and the classification of the therapeutic diet objectives and principles of therapeutic diet and feeding techniques and also we need to concentrate on some of the disease like diabetic mellitus renal disease hepatitic disease obesity diarrhea constipation and pre and operative period so these all are the important questions according to the sections so once again we can revise our topic today we discuss our nutrition applied nutrition section in that the question will be for 15 mark and we see long essay short essay and short answers and the multiple choice question so i hope you understand the topic and we discuss each and every chapters our total chapters are the 13 chapters and according According to the chapters also we discuss the important topic if you have any doubt you can comment in our box or you can contact us thank you for watching stay tuned